We're joined now by Mae McCarthy. She's an entrepreneur, author, and philanthropist, and it's almost time to set your New Year's resolutions as well. And Mae has a take on goal setting. Good morning, Mae. Good morning, Carla. And so talk to me about your book. It's called The Path to Wealth. It is a goal setting book that helps people to word their goals properly so that intuition and their subconscious can show up and help them achieve what they want. And you were telling me wording is key as far as setting these goals. It's very key. There's an awful lot of people that will talk about what they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And this idea of always wanting is the goal. So what I ask people to do is to word their goals as though they've already achieved them then intuition and their subconscious can show up to help point them in the right direction to achieve them. And you mentioned other people, you know, other grades that have followed sort of this, this route then. Right. Bill Gates will tell you that often you have to rely on intuition. And Oprah Winfrey has said that she's listened to that still small voice of intuition her whole life. And the only time she's made mistakes is when she didn't listen. And so how could people apply these as far as, you know, with the New Year coming, you know, people are setting their New Year's, New Year's resolutions. Right. With resolutions, often people will set them just once at the beginning of the year and then not look at them again. And That's what I, me, I think, you know. <laughs> well, it's very common. It's very common. I'm sure it's a lot of people, but as far as, you know, trying to lose weight, quit smoking, eating healthier, mm -hmm. what are some ways that people could do this as far as uh, to make sure that they follow through? Just three simple things. If they set aside 20 minutes every morning and they write down their goals as though they've achieved them with gratitude, read them out loud with emotion, and then imagine, use a technique that many professional athletes use, imagine seeing themselves in the realized goal. So if your goal is to want to lose weight, that's not a very good goal. Mm -hmm. Your goal should be to have a physically fit and trim toned body. Then intuition and your subconscious will kick in to show you how to get that. So again, it's also about being specific too with your goals. And because for me, it's like, oh, I want Brad Pitt's body, but you know, how how specific is that? Come on. Well, I, I think I think having your own physically fit and trim, pain-free body is probably going to be just fine. And you do have an event as well later I, today. I do. We're going to be at the Center for Spiritual Awareness at one o'clock. And we will be going through the path to wealth, uh, seven steps for spiritual financial abundance. And we're going to be talking about how to apply these techniques so that they can achieve more of their goals all year long. All right, May, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, the book is called The Path to Wealth. Irene?